So hello and welcome. Uh, today I am going to uh, start this mini series and I am going to be talking about JavaScript in HTML5 Canvas in Adobe Animate. And we are going to be going through code snippets that are already built in Adobe Animate. And in this video, uh, we are going to be looking how to create a link to the website. So basically I am going to open my Animate, choose HTML5 Canvas and I will hit create. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is to create any kind of shape. So I am going to just get the shape tool. I am going to choose some random color and I am going to create a shape like this. The next thing that I need to do is convert this shape to the symbol. So I can go to the modify, convert to symbol and I can keep the name symbol one, make sure it is movie clip and just hit OK. Now I can go ahead and rename my layer so I can call this blue, for example. Now what is important is to click on the shape and in here there is an instance name and this is like an ID or uh, if you know HTML or CSS, basically uh, we need to create a name and by this name we are going to be able to target this shape with the JavaScript. So I can call this to be blue one, for example. The next thing that I am going to do is I will create new layer and on this layer I will right click and I will choose actions. Uh, if you cl click on the actions, uh, the windows like this should appear and now what we need to do is click on the, on the shape and uh, if you click on the shape there is a possibility that this action is going to disappear. So in that case just open it one more time. And when you select your shape, you can go to the code snippets in here and there are some options for the action script, HTML5 canvas or WebGL. And now we are uh, going to be working with HTML5 canvas. So I will open this one and there is a bunch of options. Uh, the first one is timeline navigation. We are not going to be going through this in this mini series, but we are going to go through actions. So I will go to the action and the first thing that is in here is click to go to the web page. So I will click or double click on this one and this is going to create a code like this. So uh, you can go uh, on the left bottom corner and make this code or this text editor bigger or smaller. So you can see your code and basically on the top we have some great text and these are just some instruction and this is not going to be, uh, this, is, this is commented out. So this code doesn't mean anything. It's just for your information uh, what uh, this code is doing. So I will try to uh, briefly explain what does it mean. So we have this blue one, add even listener, click, and then the name of the function. So basically this refers to the whole animate object. Blue one is the name that we uh, gave to the shape. Add even listener is just a method uh, which we have to put and this is like the click event. And basically this means that if I click on the blue one, I want to call this function. And this is just arbitrary name that uh, Adobe Animate has created. And then we have the function with the same name as this name. And in this function there is window.open and some URL to some website. So what I can do right now is change this Adobe to YouTube or to anything else. And right now, if I hit control enter, this is going to open me uh, my shape in the browser. And if I click on the shape, this is going to open a new YouTube page. Okay. So as I said, uh, this name of the function is arbitrary. So you can put any name that you want. So I can type in here, go to, web 
for example. Then what I need to do is to copy this and to paste it on the function because the name of the function has to be the same as the name that we are calling in here. Okay, otherwise it wouldn't work. And uh, yeah, this is it. This is how you can uh, you can uh, put a link to the any shape that you have or button and direct it to the website. And for example, uh, what you can do is to create one more shape. This time this shape is going to be red. You can go to the empty layer in here. So I'll create new layer. I will create a shape with F8. I am going to convert this to the symbol. I will call this to be red one. And now what I need to do is uh, I can either right click and choose actions or I can go with my shortcut F9. It is going to open my, open my code. And right now what I can do is control C, copy this, paste it in here. And we can change that we want this red one, add even listener, click, go to web two. So we need to change the name of the function and the same thing in here. And now we can change this to Adobe, for example. And uh, if I hit control enter right now, uh, the blue one is going to go to the YouTube and the red one is going to go to the Adobe. All right. Uh, you can see at the code uh, that we have uh, our URL and then we have this blank. This means that it is going to open uh, the website on the new blank page. But if I get rid of this blank and I can do this for, for both of them like so, and I will hit control enter, it is anyway going to open it on the blank page. So yeah, it's like that. Okay, so this is it for the, for the first video. And in the next one, what I'm going to show you is how you can create a custom mouse cursor, which means that you won't have a normal mouse, but you can replace your mouse with any shape, anything that you want. So see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Give a like, consider to subscribe and have a good day. Goodbye.